All right. The first news. Why Indians are protesting two controversial laws that could leave millions of Muslims stateless. In recent months, protests have erupted across India due to two controversial laws that critics say target Muslim immigrants and even those born in India. At odds are the country's deeply religious roots and its secular constitution. Milan Vashnav, director and senior fellow at the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, says, India is a very poor country. Even today, only about 70% of births happen with an official birth certificate. So a lot of people cannot prove their citizenship status. They're worried that this essentially is going to disenfranchise a bunch of genuine citizens who simply are either too poor or come from the wrong community to be able to justify their existence. People who are not considered citizens fear being sent to detention centers, even though Prime Minister Narendra Modi has denied the camps exist. Across the country, Indians of all faiths have been protesting for months. They claim these laws go against the Constitution by deciding citizenship on the basis of religion. In the weeks and months to come, Muslims fear that their life in their homeland may get increasingly more difficult if they cannot prove Hindustan is home. Right, so this has um, been going on for a while now, but the reason mm -hmm. why we're covering it now is because the protests are just keep escalating and escalating and escalating. I don't know, a lot of people maybe in the West have been distracted by the, um, by the election. In the United States, and there are two important things right now happening, and and the corona. Oh, I can't say that. Don't mention the the bad the the disease that is spreading around the world. YouTube doesn't like that. I almost said it. Don't say it. Okay. Great. The, no, the, the virus. Okay. Yeah, you can't say that. The, the, those two news is covering, and this is two things that people are missing: is the elections in Israel, but also this. Okay. Peep, India is going through an identity crisis right now and there is a ton of protests happening people are dying people are being killed from both sides there are attacks one side has more people dying i think you can guess which side is dying but what i I'm, let's just address what's happening in india because a lot of other um people are not talking about it um there's two different laws two different acts right that are working together and a lot of hindu uh, nationalists in india deny that this is the purpose of it but but it's really hard to deny it because a lot of their top officials especially a lot of their hindu nationalists bgp uh, p uh, people are ad openly admitting that this was the plan okay so the two things that you need to remember, the two things that are working together um, um, separately is one of them the, is the Citizenship Amendment Act, Citizenship Amendment Act, and the other one is the National Reg Registration Act, right? So one of the, the, the way to figure out how this works is one of them is supposed to remove citizenship for people that can't prove their citizen, and the other one is supposed to automatically give citizenship to people that are not Muslim, <laughs> right? So it's like one one kicks you out and the other one lets you back in, but no to the Muslims. So t effectively, this is demographic engineering to get rid of Muslims, to make India a Hindu country. This is the Pakistanization of India. The same way that Pakistan is not a secular country, is an Islamic country. Um, India, you know, India is superior to Pakistan because it's a secular country. And this secularism is being challenged right now, right? Because they're trying to use religion as a way to decide who's a citizen and who's not. And, you know, the way that the Hindu nationalists will come and like, Oh no, you don't understand, you didn't read the law, blah, 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 you don't know what you're talking about. Why, is, you know, check the comment section, they're going to come and say that, right? Is that they're gonna they they're gonna say like listen the citizen the the one that is supposed to give citizenship to the people that are not Muslim 
that's like for refugees these are people in need they need you know then this is supposed to be a humanitarian act to support the people in islamic countries who are the people that are being oppressed who are the ones that are being oppressed are the non-muslims right this is just a nice thing that we're doing for them it's the hindus is the buddhists is the jains is the blah 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 right that we this law is supposed to support them right uh, but they don't tell you but but the problem is that okay if this law was supposed to help refugees um why is it based on religion right why is it saying that every we accept everyone as if you can't make your refugee cases but not the muslims right why is it based on religion this is uh, and oh they say what well, they will say well look because look in in the countries that are next to us bangladesh pakistan um i don't know iran these are islamic countries well not close to us not just next to us right uh these are countries that we that muslims are the oppressors right okay fine well what about china right muslims there are being are being oppressed right why wouldn't you like open like why wouldn't you make a refugee case based on anybody that is being oppressed what about burma right what about Burma? the muslims there are being oppressed as well and even in islamic countries right in shia countries sunnis are being oppressed right they're muslim in Sunni countries, Shias are being oppressed. Why about what about them? Right? They are Muslim as well. This is not about helping like if you really want to think that this is about helping people, you completely you know, you, you usually demographic engineering when when governments engage in demographic engineering and trying to change the population and usually it's about when you do demographic engineering it's about votes, right? The BGP party wants to stay in power and they know that if they just get a whole bunch of immigrants that are Hindu and kick out the Muslims. This is the way that they stay in power, right? And this is something that people would openly admit, like about non people outside of India will admit, okay, yeah, it seems like Indian nationals are doing that, but they don't admit that about immigrants in other places because you know, the Hindu nationalists in India, they are the alt-right. They're the real alt-right that is growing in the world that most people are not talking about. But if the white nationalists were doing this, people would be talking about this. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of uh, left-wing people are doing this with immigration as well. But this is the one that they're comfortable talking about. Anyways, so, it, they, so this is when they accept Hindus, but they don't accept Muslims if they want to become citizens. So if you're a Hindu and you want to become a citizen in India, you just automatically accept it because you're a Hindu, right? But this National Registration Act is tells people that oh you have to prove that you are uh, an um, a citizen of India or else your citizenship might be taken away from you and guess what a lot of people can, do not have the documents to prove that they're citizen right a lot of people don't have the documents especially poor people and they they don't, they're not even accepting uh passports apparently or, or voter cards apparently they're not accepted right so i don't know what they need to prove but guess what if you don't have the documents to prove that you're a citizen don't if you're a hindu you don't have to worry about it because you could you, through the citizenship amendment act you could just be a citizen no problem but if you're a muslim you're screwed and people a lot of people were saying like a lot of hindu nationalists were saying like no they're not screwed no it's gonna be fine they're gonna find a way to. Um, they're gonna find a way to prove that they're citizen because the government is gonna help them out. And now they're building detention centers, <laughs> like they're they're building giant detention centers. This is a huge admission that they're just gonna they're gonna be camps, right? This is gonna be very similar, like China, at, at arresting people for the crime of being Muslim, and this is gonna be like they're preparing for that in India. So this is a huge admission of a lot of people are not going to be able to prove that they're citizens, right? So this is, by the way, for, for a lot of people, you have to understand this is also, India doesn't really recognize uh, Islam, Muslim and Islam as two separate things and ideology and from blood. They're confused about that and like a lot of a lot of policies don't understand that. Oh, this is just an Islam is just an ideology So a lot of people are thinking that ex-Muslim atheists 
will be also in trouble because they're going to be categorized as Muslim, even though they're not Muslim anymore. So this is a huge problem, and pe more people should be talking about it. You have to understand, when we're talking India, right? We're talking about one billion people. We're talking about one... Um, Rivka, you're breathing into the microphone, sorry. We're talking about one out of every seven person on the goddamn planet like when we're talking about news from other country like it's just a small thing but we're talking about when we're talking about oppression here we're talking about oppression here on an astronomical level that is affecting more people than news from any other country that we usually report on other than china actually that usually have so this should be china and this should be headline news everywhere not just in india on the on the planet but people are not talking about this you, you don't understand this is really bad for india this is really bad for India because I India is supposed to be secular, a secular country. This is challenging the I, the very core of what makes India a better country than compared to some a country like Pakistan, right? So, mm -hmm. and, and and by the way, don't, don't, when you see those Hindu nationalists that are angry and telling you, oh, you don't know what you're talking about in the comment section, just remember that not. All Hindus in India are on their side. A lot of Hindus in India are calling BS on all of this, right? Not just, not just the Muslims, not just the secularists, not just other people. A lot of Hindus in India are also against this. They're like, "This is I love India because it's a secular country." So, anyway, so it's not just like don't believe those BGP people when they come and attack this. Anyways, Rivka, did you want to add anything to that? No, basically, you said everything. You know, I did just want to tell people what the original Citizenship Act from 1955 says that people are saying, you know, that this amendment to it from 2019, which now refers to special privileges for um, everybody but Muslims. The original part of the Constitution that was made in 1955 says that a person is a citizen of India with their resident and people who were born in India and they consider the president of India as the first citizen. And they've amended it several times, but they've just amended it by um, things like the parent couldn't be an illegal immigrant. Mm. But they still didn't mention religion at all or give any preference to any religion so See, just wanted is, to bring that up this is what people they these whole uh, these um, B, bgp supporters the hindu nationalists they can't explain this asking this why does it okay oh you want to help refugees and stuff why does it have to be based on religion they have no explanation for that they don't they never say that like why is it based on religion why is it based on who's a muslim and who's not a muslim why is it based on that they have no good explanation for this and they're they're num they're every time you come and explain the story to them no matter how much you look into it they're like oh you don't understand the story you haven't done your research you haven't read anything blah 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 and they're like okay explain it to me and they have no defense they have no defense. That's just all they say. They come and say like, oh, you don't understand. And then they go. It's like drive by shooting. They're like, they just like come in and come with your car. That's their. And again, I predicted this. And look, I'm looking at the top comments. It's actually that. Like the top comment is by somebody with a Hindu God in their profile. So you know what that side they're going to be. And Raj, Raj Ahuja, uh, he's saying... I think it's a he. Uh, he's saying, sadly, the author of this report has not read or understood this law. Totally false report. Do you think this person would say that the author did not understand the law if they if the author agreed with their position? If basically this is the position. If you do not agree with my position, you have no idea what you're talking about. You have not read the law. You don't understand the you how law is supposed to work. But if you come to the conclusion as I have, then you have done your research properly. That is their position. Um, the second top comment is by Shipra. Shipra is saying, oh boy, a storm of hate comments, explanations, and state apologists are coming your way. Wait for it. Yeah. By the way, this is a very, this, this storm of people that come at you every time you attack India, 
the, the BGP party in India is very intimidating. A lot of people, this is how it's done. This is what religious people do as well, right? Let's say you want to criticize Islam or you want to criticize Christianity or you want to criticize some Judaism, right? And there's some obvious thing in there that is absolute nonsense, right? But they come at you and they're like, well, did you know about this detail in this, you know, scholar that wrote about this? Have you studied this? Have you studied Islamic hadith? Uh, but, you know, have you, do you know how the chain of narration works? Have you studied the tafsir? Who's, who's the greatest authorities in Islamic tafsir? Do you know this scholar? Have you studied? How many years of experience do you have in studying Islamic? You know, are you a scholar? And you're like, a lot of people are like, oh no, maybe I shouldn't comment. You're talking about a man riding on a horse with a human face to the heaven and cutting the goddamn moon in half. Do you need a, to be a goddamn scholar to know that that's ridiculous? You don't need to be a scholar. And this is what the, these Hindu nationalists are doing with, the, with these laws and stuff. Like, have you read the entire act cover to cover, blah, blah, blah. Like, what are you talking about? Every, you can see all the analysis, like, you know what this law is trying to do. Like, hey, one of them is saying, where's, give, you need these documents to be a, a citizen. And you're like, oh, people are like, well, we don't have those documents. The other one is saying like, hey, if you're a Hindu, don't worry about it. If you're a Muslim, yeah, we don't, we, you know, we don't. Like, how, it's not that complicated, guys. It's not that complicated. Don't these people come at you like, oh, you're not Indian. Don't talk about my country. Oh, I'm from India, so I know all the details. Well, guess what? I have an army of people from India that are telling you that this is anti-secular as well. Just because you're from India, that doesn't make you an authority. I mean, based on the comments, you know, don't let the, the people tell you that they know something about the country just because from there. Okay. For Americans, I tell you this. Imagine the average American. Imagine the average American, how much they know about United States politics. Huh? Not much, right? So imagine the average Iranian, right? That's how much they also know about Iranian politics. Not much. These, these people, they're biased. A guy with a Hindu god as their profile picture, do you think this guy is going to be unbiased? No. Well, I mean... Of course not. But people are like, well, Armin, you're not going to be biased. Uh, you're going to be biased as well. Of course I'm going to be biased. But guess what? I'll tell you my bias. I'll tell you my bias. My bias is against religion. And yes, that might affect the way I report the news and the way I comment. But at least you know and you could take my comments with a grain of salt. I don't hide my bias. I'm biased against religion. I don't hide that. Anyways, Rivka? No. I was going to say the next story kind of oh, piggybacks really? on All right, hold that on, let's if you go. want to talk to. Yeah, yeah, let's, say, let's go. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also... If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh like oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah. Subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> But we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us Deprioritize what does that mean? That means we're not we don't show up on the suggested You know videos on the right and all that, you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 